Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be looking at monster taming games that never were, or at the least are in a state of perpetual hiatus as of right now. What I mean by this is that there are a plethora of monster taming games that have either been completely and indefinitely canceled or put on hold with zero inkling as to when said games will return. I thought today's video would act as sort of a fun way to look at five of these games in particular and sort of discuss what could have been. I just want to iterate right now that this video is not made with the intention to pressure developers into starting their games again or shame them for canceling or anything like that, but more so a discussion about what I think is a really interesting topic. Now that said, as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, subscribe for daily monster taming videos, and let's dive in. All right, so first up on this list is Sky Seeker, a game that I always see mentioned anytime I talk about Sky Climbers, which if you don't know, is a completely different game. Sky Seeker actually had a lot going for it, and it was supposed to be a Metroidvania platformer type game where you must travel upwards to the sky in order to attain enlightenment or something like that. I honestly can't remember. Either way, the game does actually have a story narrative and a real-time combat system, which plays quite well. In terms of what's going on with this game, the developers had stated a while back that the game was being put on hold until they worked on other projects to get more games under their belts, but oftentimes whenever you hear this, it's really hard to say whether or not the project will ever be reinvigorated again. A video game project can take years, and if the hold is there until multiple games are released, there's a good chance that by the time said games are done, much will be forgotten about the game's inner workings or the game entirely. Either way, this is one game that if they do decide to come back to, I would really like to see. I think it's a lot of fun based on the demo that I played a while back, and even has a a stylistic choice that I quite like. Next up we have Terraform, a game that was pretty much cancelled with no foreseeable return to development after its failed Kickstarter campaign several years ago. The game takes place on an alien world where a human settlement exists, and you actually get to utilize and battle with different aliens whilst exploring this foreign land. The game is also browser-based, working on both mobile devices and your desktop from pretty much anywhere, so that is definitely another big benefit for mobile players, which surprisingly make up a very large portion of the genre's fanbase. I played this one's demo too, and honestly, for me, this is one of the biggest shames in terms of games that never went anywhere because it was a really cool concept mixed with a classic aesthetic that I really do like. From what I know, the original programmer had moved on to bigger ventures, so it doesn't look like this one will be starting up anytime soon. Next up, we have a game that I actually showcased pretty recently with its demo on the channel, uh, that being Galaxmon, a Pokemon-like RPG that honestly looks pretty good artistically and mechanically. Essentially, the project had run out of money, although I will say that I think if they did decide to do a Kickstarter campaign, they might be able to circumvent that problem. However, it does look like that the Galaxmon brand will still be a thing through a web story and some other mediums as well. I think that of this list, this is probably the game with the strongest chance of returning and being successful. Just based on the fact that the demo released pretty recently, and if we give it enough attention, we could see a resurrection. Next up, we have a game that had a lot of promise in my opinion. However, much like Skyseeker, the developer had stated that they wanted to explore other avenues before eventually coming back to this game. But like I said earlier, picking up a project after potentially years isn't always going to be a guaranteed thing. But that said, the game in question is Amber Roots, which is a 2.5D monster raising game that seems to have elements from battling titles like Pokemon as well. And then again, raising elements from games like Monster Rancher. I was actually pretty excited for this one because while I like and enjoy Monster Rancher, games. I'm more of an explore the world and battle kind of guy. However, I've always said that if they made a Monster Rancher game that basically kind of played like a typical RPG, but had your Monster Rancher hub, I guess like Digimon World Next Order, essentially, that I'd love to play something like that and spend more time in it than I would a regular Monster Rancher game based on my personal preference. This seems to be what that was. I love the 2.5D aesthetic and the pixel art that came with this game as well. So it's a shame that it is currently on hold, but who knows? Maybe we'll see it soon. Finally for today, and again, there are quite a few monster taming games that have been on hiatus or canceled, so we could always do another video like this, but we have Gorit, a monster taming game that recently had its demo and is supposed to be like a Zelda-like action-adventure title with, of course, monster taming. In this game, you would take control of the monsters in question, solve various dungeon puzzles, and go up against enemies in the wild, and potentially bosses and stuff like that. The game initially started out as a turn-based title before transitioning over into real time, and while the demo was quite buggy and unreal, find, I do think that if given enough time and care, this game could have really been something unique. 
Real-time combat monster taming games that allow you to actually take control of the monster itself are very rare in the genre, and it is a very difficult thing to do right, but seeing as this was going to be a single-player game, I do think that it could have went for a kind of hack-and-slashy type feel without having to worry about balance or net code or any of that stuff. But yeah, those were five monster taming games that have either been put on permanent hold or cancelled altogether. Let me know which games you think really deserve a revival. Personally, Terraform was a big one for me, and I also think that Galaxmon could be something big as well. Amber Roots would have also been a nice 2.5D title to add to the list as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for daily monster taming videos. You can check out my Discord, Twitter, and Patreon linked below as well. And just wanted to say, special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Maruncy, and we'll see you next time. Peace.